3.0 is probably the biggest update we've ever made. It touches almost every aspect of Conan Exiles. Fans should absolutely be excited for 3.0. It is a major patch. It includes sorcery. Sword and sorcery. This is the other half of the genre that's been missing. On top of that, we've got updates to the building system. It's gonna have a battle pass, a perks and attributes revamp. And shop as well, called the Black Lotus Bazaar. Sorcery is absolutely imperative to the world of Conan. When the genre was having its name coined, it literally became half of the name, Sword and Sorcery. We've always wanted to add sorcery to the game, but we think it's a part of the game that needs to be there to experience Howard's world in full. A lot of other games are high fantasy games, and they focus a lot on fireballs and things that you can see coming out of your hands. We wanted to find a way to make it feel more kind of physically grounded sinister and evil. It's more about focusing and amplifying sorceress energy. And as you select different words of power, you'll be building different spells. Sorcery is broken up into two different parts. There's rituals and spells. Rituals are more kind of the, the crafting side of it, where you perform some kind of magical or sorcerous ritual at a crafting station at your base in order to make something, build something. In your base, you'll build a sacrificial stone. You'll drag an unconscious combatant and put them on the stone. And there will be a ritual recipe in that crafting station to offer them as a sacrifice. Perform a ritual, draw their blood, and then the station will open up again and you can take the item out. Tons of different rituals. Necromancy, for instance, allows you to summon the dead or create undead mounts. A couple other rituals we have are integrated into the fast travel system that we're implementing. So we have one that's kind of a set of teleporter pads, and you'll need some blood and some brimstone to fire that pad up. Illusions basically allow you to take weapon or a piece of armor and apply a different look to it. So if you're able to craft two different pieces and you like the look of one but the stats of another, you can apply the look of one to the other. So it allows players to look how they want without sacrificing the, uh, the stats that they want to have with their equipment. We've also wanted to go through and address all the perks that we felt were sort of underperforming and sort of give them a facelift. Essentially, we've blown up the entire system and made a new meta. We have some great surprises, and we are really changing the way that Conan Exiles plays on all of the attributes. Corruption is a core part of sorcery, so we wanted that to also impact the attribute system. When your character is exposed to corruption, it'll corrupt their form and their, their whole physical being. With that power, you can corrupt your physical self in order to gain access to special perks. Once you've reached a certain corruption threshold, your character will be able to corrupt their strength, their vitality, or their charisma into improving themselves. These benefits won't show themselves very powerful at first, but as you devote yourself more to the void, they'll start showing up and making you more and more powerful. When we first started working on the game, we implemented the building system in a particular way. But since then, a lot more survival games have come out that have made us realize, hey, we can do a little bit better. Truthfully, I think the old building system was a little difficult to use with the gamepad. However, with this new system, it's designed to be used with the gamepad, and I think it's going to be so much easier for people. It takes all the crafting recipes, all the building items that you've unlocked, and puts them all in one menu. You can go to the section you want, find the piece you want, and it's a lot simpler. The creative mode is incredible. You get this admin panel, it unlocks all the building pieces, and you can create your perfect home or castle or fortress. A fundamental change in how you can build in the game. It'll be really, really easy, I think, for people to, to build their perfect home. Some building pieces are part of the battle pass and others are going to be in the shop. In the battle pass, we have sorcery themed building pieces, which are built to complement and supplement the existing base building sets. The main reason we're doing the Battle Pass is so that we can continue to release free features. I'm a strong believer that monetization should be more on the cosmetic side, changing the way you look necessarily and not changing the power of things. So the Battle Pass, you're going to get some really cool things. New armors, weapons, mounts, 
that are all built around the sorcery theme. There are two ways to progress through the battle pass, and the first is to play the game. Every day you'll be given a series of challenges, and when you complete one of those challenges, you claim the experience from it, and then that challenge is replaced with another one. If you don't want to play to unlock everything in the battle pass, you can also purchase levels in increments of 1, 5, and 15. So for those of you who have less time, that option is there as well. So we won't have cosmetic DLCs like we did in the past with the culture packs. We will have battle passes and, and ages instead. We are gonna have multiple sorcerer themed armor and clothing options. Some of them will be in game and craftable. Others will be offered as part of the battle pass or as part of the shop. We're also adding an, an item store to the game and this will allow players to have more of an a la carte option for what they want to buy. It's been a long time coming, making sorcery. <laughs> with each new release of Conan Exiles, we're trying to make the kind of game that we feel like our players want to play and that we want to play. So if you want to see more of this, definitely follow our Conan Exiles Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. Thank you all for all of your support and for playing our game and enjoying it. And I hope all of you have a great time exploring the world and finding the things to do those dark evil rituals and become the twisted sorcerer atop a tower. Thank you.